Thank you, Mr. Speaker. President Obama had a chance last night to lay out a plan for smart strategic savings to replace his devastating sequester. We were all watching. We were all listening. We want to work together on this. But instead of laying out a vision for how government can avoid his sequester, his sequester, by living within its means, the president decided to make the impractical case for passing the buck on to taxpayers through even more taxes. House Republicans have known all along the president's sequester was a terrible plan. We gave the super committee a chance to do the right thing, and when they didn't, we led. Twice since last summer, we have passed legislation that would preserve savings while completely removing the threat sequester poses to American jobs and national security. The president didn't join the conversation until recently. March 1st is coming. Will he or won't he put forth a credible plan to stop the damage of his sequester? Republicans have responded. He and our friends on the other side of the aisle have not. I yield back. Gentleman, yield.